just what I'm looking for. Heading out before dawn. All right, 37 minutes ago, we were supposed to have feet on the deck and driving away. Heading for a shrimp boat, something. I don't know what's going on. All righty. Looks like this was a total no-show. How long are you supposed to give these people? Like hours? I have. It's 8.30, they were supposed to be here at seven feet on the deck, ready to go fishing. I'm geared up, I'm here. Well, They lost their deposit, that's for sure. I called them, they never called me back. I never heard a word. All right, I was all geared up. Time to go home and have a donut. I don't have any donuts at home. I'm on a uh, I'm on a sugar diet, no sugar. Except I go over to Mama's house, and she's always got some kind of baked goods. Everybody else can make it down here. I've only been here, let's say it's 8.30 right now. I've been here since 5.30. Because I'm an early bird. So, I was at the bait shop this morning at 5 a.m. when they opened. I was actually there before they opened. Just a couple minutes. All right. Got my block. All it takes is a phone call. No texting, please. Phone call. I hear the phone ring. Just call me. None of that bullshit. <laughs> None of that bullshit texting crap. I don't hear texts. I hear ding ding ding, T-Mobile, T-Mobile. Yeah, I've only had, this will make three. I've only had, prior to today, two no-shows in 25 years, which is pretty good. So, pretty good. Today makes number three. 
So I guess I got all my bait. I got bait, ice, everything for my kids trip tomorrow. I got three kids. We'll see how that pans out. So this was a last minute call at four o'clock yesterday, which was Friday. Last minute, less than 24 hours notice, half up front. Half up front. No, just little $100 deposit. Half up front. All right. See you on the next one. Whatever comes up next. In the wonderful, wacky world of charter fishing in Jacksonville, Florida. Here's my first homemade gotcha plug out of stainless steel tubing. And then I just bent this down and added some lead from here to here just to see. And I made this big eye because I wasn't sure, you know, exactly how the pull point on the lure would be. Let's see if you can see it because this thing works fantastically. just twitches oh. it really darts it darts back and forth perfectly it looks just like a gotcha plug then I made a second one that I like even better okay it's so damn noisy here it's ungodly it's like uh, the skies in Iraq or something with the helicopters you don't get two seconds hardly without any noise but here's the one that I just made with a single treble it's also stainless steel tubing and then I just made this little eyelet and this little eyelet and then I filled it full of lead to right there now this is just like a little gotcha plug. It casts like an absolute missile. This is probably five eighths of an ounce and the other one might have been like seven eighths. So let's see if you can see this one or not. I don't know if you're being able to see it, but what a gotcha plug should do is it should shoot, 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 shoot like that as you jig it. It darts side to side. The other one did it too. Imitating like a little glass minnow. Let's pull out the Bass Pro Shop version and see what that one looks like. I just got them. 5 8 ounce Bass Pro. They're much more colorful. Okay, this is the 5 8 ounce. Uh, I can't remember what they call them. Big Shot from Bass Pro Shops. It doesn't have a hole, so I can't fill it full of uh, Procure, but like mine, the ones I made, I can fill up full of Procure. So let's see if you can see this. I actually think the action on mine are better than this. Difference is this has got a lot of flash to it. And, of course, you can replace the hooks compared to a gotcha plug. When fishing these, it probably is a good idea to use a loop knot 
up here instead of tying it straight if you used a loop knot you'd probably get a lot more action so now let's just try a plain gotcha style like a gotcha or a tsunami type little jerk jigger all right let's try this before the next round of helicopters comes by this one's missing the treble hook but this is more of a mainstream tubular type 5 8 ounce I don't know if you saw that but this has I believe better action than the uh, Bass Pro Shop model but I believe from what I just did mine has action that rivals all of these so maybe I'll make a few more and the next thing that's going to come up is going to be a jerk jigger lure challenge I'm going to go out and fish and use nothing but these either mine the bass pro shops the tsunami or the gotcha plugs and see how I fare so that's something I'm going to do here in the near future just go out do nothing but throw these all morning either at the jetties or whatever and really just challenge myself to see what can be caught on all size deep water shallow water whatever all right here comes the helicopter so this was just a little short i made my own